JB and you keep you informed. I'm Michelle Jones and in the news, man shot dead in St. Mary. A man was a suspect in robberies and shootings at Purcell Lane in Onoto Bay, St. Mary, was killed in the community on Monday morning. He is 32-year-old Adrian Morrison. The body of Morrison was found with a bullet tune to the head sometime after 9 o'clock. The police believe a gang feud led to his demise. Illicit drugs and weapons seized at some schools in St. Catherine South. Territorial officer, Deputy Superintendent Paulette Baker has revealed that several searches carried out in schools within the St. Catherine South Division yielded several quantities of illicit drugs and weapons. She made the disclosure during a safety in schools meeting at the Portmore Police Station, organized by the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, in an effort to minimize violence and indiscipline in schools. DSP Baker said safety has become a priority in high schools amid a spate of violent incidents in recent months. It is not by mistake why we invited members from the Drugs Abuse Unit to be here to present you because during that search would have come upon ganja, all the different items that we're not expecting to see our students within schools, weapons, and of course, we know would have seen the increase in violence in schools in recent time not only in the St. Catherine South Division, but all over the island. Since the start of the year, some 200 schools have been visited to support conflict resolution efforts in public educational institutions at all levels. PNP Council candidate charged with assault over alleged beating of pregnant partner. Teacher and People's National Party, PNP Council candidate in St. Elizabeth, O'Shane Gale, was charged Sunday with assault after allegedly hitting his pregnant partner with a piece of board during a domestic dispute. When contacted, Gail declined to speak about the matter. I will not comment on this matter this moment, he said this morning. I will have to contact my lawyer. The incident reportedly happened on Saturday and was reported to the Lokovia police on Sunday, a police source said. It was charged with assault occasioning bodily harm. Gail was granted bail in his own surety. Gail is a teacher at the Magotti High School in St. Elizabeth. He is also the PMP representative for the Lokovia Division in the Municipal Corporation. Meanwhile, the People's National Party has revoked the candidacy of Gale. In a statement today, the PMP says it stands resolutely against violence and the incident involving Gale warranted a prompt and unequivocal response from the party. PMP Chairman Dr. Angela Brown Burke has expressed deep concern and condemnation of the alleged actions emphasizing that violence within the context of a domestic dispute is entirely inconsistent with the party's core values. In response to this situation, the PMP has withdrawn Gale's candidacy, underscoring its unswavering dedication to ethical standards and the safeguarding of citizens' rights and dignity. The PMP says it firmly maintains its intolerance for behaviors that compromise the safety and dignity of individuals and remains dedicated to upholding high ethical standards. Earlier this month, the PMP removed Tyrone Guthrie as its candidate for the Friendship Division in Westmoreland amid sexual assault and abduction allegations made against them. Guthrie was charged after surrendering to the police as part of an investigation into the alleged sexual assault and abduction of a 16-year-old girl. Our party stands firmly against any form of violence or sexual abuse and will closely monitor the developments of this case to ensure justice is served. The party said in a statement at the time, St. Catherine Mann gets six years in prison for a scamming American elderly woman. St. Catherine resident Kemar Townsend has been sentenced to six years in prison for defrauding an American citizen in a sweepstakes scam. The sentencing was handed down by Justice Bertram Morrison in the St. Catherine Circuit on Friday after a jury returned a guilty verdict. Townsend was convicted of conspiracy to obtain money by false pretense, engaging in a transaction involving criminal property and possession of criminal property. He was represented by attorney at law, Davian Vassell. The Crown led evidence that in June, Townsend told the 72 year old complainant that she won $682 million US dollars plus two motor cars and $297,000 US dollars in refunds. He told the woman that the money was being held in Jamaica and that funds would have to be sent for processing. The complainant testified via video link that she sent several sums of money to an account held by Townsend. Testimony was given of Townsend's withdrawal of the respective sums amounting to $44,000. In his testimony, Townsend said that he thought the monies were sent to him by his girlfriend in Switzerland. Under cross-examination, he admitted that he didn't tell investigators of any such girlfriend. 
A jury retired for 30 minutes and returned a unanimous guilty verdict. Denham Tonry since believed pastor's intercession last week prevented death in Sunday morning gun attack. Some residents of Denham Town in Kingston believe that prayers from a pastor last week reduced the impact of an early morning gun attack at Wellington Street on Sunday in which one man was shot and injured. I just last week the pastor come and warn us and look what happened now, one resident said on Sunday. Another resident confirmed that a preacher had in fact warned them that blood would be spilled in the community based on a vision he had. The resident believed that if the pastor had not prayed in the space, people would have died. Last week, the pastor would prophesy that three men would end up on the one away corner and three from the scream gang. It was a prayer that him come pray and match it up. Me strongly believe that because a whole lot of prediction he made that I see fulfill, the resident said. Residents said the shooting occurred between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. when gunmen in a motor vehicle opened fire on people who were already up and about doing their Sunday morning chores. According to the residents, one man was shot at least three times and was taken to hospital where he's been treated. Members of the Jamaica Defense Force, who were posted in the community, were said to have challenged the gunmen, but they escaped. Despite attempts by the security forces and the social groups to maintain peace in the community, gang activity and shootings are rampant. From January 1 to September 30 this year, the Kingston West Police Division, which has jurisdiction over Denham Town, reported 61 murders. It is unclear how many of the 61 murders were committed in Denham Town, but residents shared that shootings, even with air-powered rifles, happen from time to time. A few hours after the incident in the community, tension was obvious, and while some residents refused to speak on the shooting, others were adamant that the senseless and spontaneous acts of violence made their lives miserable. Police yellow tape cordoned off the scene of the attack, which spanned more than 50 meters, beginning just below the Denham Town Health Center down to North Street. Me scared. Nobody want to get shot or die. But then I also hear a whole heap of explosions. We believe that it was the Tivoli man them come up in a van come fire shot. No, not up in a Denham Town. But then Tivoli man them always come fire shots up here. The man who get shot is not from around here. People know him, but him don't live here, one female resident said. The gunman them are driving on van and them also fire the police and soldiers. The place tense. You know so the place look. Overall, certain people can't go down the road and certain people can't come up the road. I don't know what really caused the incident this morning. But overall, I want this war to be done because it don't make sense. The war is going on a long time. I don't see what they're worrying for. People have to lock up them shops early. The war is mashing up the place, the frustrated resident added. Another female resident said things are so bad that even a football competition that was being held to help maintain peace was suspended. All the peace football competition with all the different kinds of them stopped because of the violence was stopped back in the community. A lady come off with empty her garbage and almost get shot by the gunman with her wear a vest and the black voxy. There's a turf war going on in the community for a long time now between Denham Town and Tivoli. Tivoli man they want for the community, she claimed. Men up here don't back the do system. They want to live by themselves without anybody telling them what to do. This man after 6 o'clock, the black voxy pop up on Wellington Street and Tulip Lane and start like pure shot. The man get two shots in him back. I call him for peace, unity and love. The infant school is right here beside the clinic. People fear for go to the health centre because nobody wants to get shot. We are all in fear. It can't continue like this, the angry resident said. One elderly woman said she was awakened by the loud explosion Sunday morning and was so traumatised that she cancelled all plans to venture out on the road. From man I won't go up the road and afraid. Too much gunshot and look like he's not going to stop. If the soldiers are not here, I don't come up on the road as them gone me gone in, she said. The place needs to clean up properly. Me not pick no side. Both up the road and down the road need to stop. Me not tell no lie, I'm afraid. You're afraid for sending to pick them go to school. You won't believe the amount of gunshot that wake me up this morning. A whole heap of people gunshot wake up. Oh God, man. What about the people at the Golden Age home in the community? They're supposed to traumatize because of pure elder up there. If me get scared, you can imagine them who can't move up and down, she said. PM only calls for an killing of civilians in Israel Gaza conflict. Prime Minister and Jamaica Labour Party leader Andrew Holness says those who hold power should ensure an end to the senseless killing of innocent civilians in the Israel Gaza conflict. Mr. Holness has called for peace in the Middle East. The Prime Minister commented on the issue Sunday night while addressing a GLP meeting in South St. James. Our society needs peace in the same way that it needs prosperity. We 
must be the party of peace and prosperity. Jamaica is not at war. Jamaica has political stability. We are not in conflict with any nation. And as I say that, my heart goes out to the people of the Middle East who are in conflict now. Some of you may be watching your televisions and you're seeing the senseless killing of innocent people, civilians. Jamaica wants to see peace. And we want to see the human rights of all peoples respected. And those who have power have a greater responsibility to ensure that people's human rights are protected. JBN will keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.